G'day everyone. I think all of us fans have plenty of things to say when it comes to what makes Tom Brady great. However, I always enjoy hearing Hall of Famers, the greatest players that have ever played this game. I love hearing their thoughts on why they think Tom Brady is so good. And that's what this video is about. I know some of you don't agree with Dr. Phil and even Jim Gray being in this video, but I find their thoughts on the qualities that go into making what a GOAT is very insightful, mainly because they have been around ultra successful people, people who are exceptional and the best at what they do, and yet they still elevate Tom Brady above the best of the best. It shows how rare someone like Brady is. It shows that to be the greatest of all time requires a different mindset. Exceptional God-given athletic gifts just doesn't cut it when you're talking about goats. This is the cream of the cream. What, in your opinion, makes the greatest of all time in their sport? Is there a common denominator that you see cut across these men and women that make them the greatest? They all go about it differently, but I can see something common. They all have touched perfection from one moment to another, but they all want to hold it and grasp it. And it's like a jellyfish and it just slips through their fingers. But when they touch it, it's like being an addict. They want to touch it again and again and again because they know they can. Probably his greatest accomplishment is this season of his whole career. To come to a new team in a new place, he could have easily been ceremonial. The helicopters flying over his house. How does he draw those new teammates into, into him to trust him, to develop that so quickly, Bug? And right. so to me, there's a there's a there's a, all kinds of things lessons in there and how he does that to to develop a sense of love and respect really quickly and the second thing is reggie white whenever he sacked me he would grab me and then go to the ground and then he'd want to talk hey how you doing how's it going <laughs> i haven't talked to you in a long time my point being that reggie would could be in the heat of the competition and then in a splash he was a friend and to me that's the greatest thing about tom brady is that he can be fixated on excellence, like maniacal fixation, and yet have a fulsome family life. Something that he can yeah. put on one pair of shoes here and put on another pair of shoes there. And it's a great example for all of us how to be more spiritually and emotionally athletic, be excellent, and still be great at multiple things. Um, I, I just, you, you can't say enough, but I think you, to the rootedness of who Tom Brady is to me is a lesson for all of us. We can learn from what he's done. It's really a miraculous thing. He, they talk about a bad game because he's 41 years old. Well, they, he had a bad game when he was 30. <laughs> so he still is playing great football at his age, and he uh, just needs to not listen to people to tell him how old he is and just get out there and keep doing what he's doing. But that Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady, man. Tom Brady is a game changer on the field, in the locker room, in life. The common denominator here to me is Tom Brady. Hmm. With that Tom Brady, this does not work. With that Tom Brady, we're not here. With that Tom Brady, that wonderful picture is not nestled behind you. <laughs> because that Tom Brady, see, when you have a guy that you could think back, even in our playing day, say, well, the only one that can really rival him, uh, that man from the 49ers, Joe Montana. Hmm. Damn Marino. Guys like that. That's, that's only Peyton Manning. I got to give Peyton some credit, but sure. that Tom Brady is in a class by himself. Hmm. So I'm going to give it to Tom Brady. How about Super Bowl 36? The Patriots and the Rams. The greatest show on turf. The Patriots were 14-point underdogs. Nobody thought they would win. And remember, guys, the Patriots went into halftime with the lead. In the second half, the Rams made a run. And Kurt Warner and that bunch tied the ball game with less than two minutes left. That's where the legacy of Tom Brady began. What did he do? He led his team back down a drive. The game went in drive. Benetary kicks the field goal. And the legacy of Brady starts Super Bowl 36. I don't know how we can even have the audacity to ask this question. I agree. When, how can you pick in a one-game match against Tom Brady? For Tom Brady, the benefit has been he's been in whatever, 10, 11 AFC Championship games. He's been in seven Super Bowls, and it's not over yet. And so 
at the end of the day, he's going to have more of these than everyone else. And so when you're getting a conversation of best, you know, there'll be people that say, well, I still think so-and-so is better or this and that. But I just don't know how you argue when, you, when you're at that level and, and everybody's great. Something's got to delineate between who's the greatest and, and you know, who's it, you know, every, everybody else. And the fact that you play in seven Super Bowls, which, I mean, is ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. If you win five and, and who knows if he wins more. He wins more than ever, anybody that's ever, you know, played the quarterback. I mean, those things to me, you know, fair or unfair, you can go back and go, what if you put, you know, Dan Marino in this? Well, Dan Marino didn't get to play in this. So you can speculate all you want, but Tom got this, and this is what he did with it. And I asked Kobe Bryant about that at one point, and he said, look, I'm a realist. I know perfection is unattainable, but it sure is a heck of a lot of fun trying. And that's what they do. Brady has had the perfect quarter, the perfect comeback, the perfect game, almost a perfect season, even though they lost to the Giants. So he's been there and he's won six times. So many people would say after one, that's enough. These guys never have enough because they want it more and more. That's one of the things I admire so much about Brady, the amount of work it takes to achieve just one perfect game. How many players have had that one perfect game, let alone almost having a complete perfect season in 2007? But take a moment to think about this, because this really blew me away, and how much I really appreciated the level that Tom Brady is on. His mindset and willingness to go beyond anything that any player is prepared to do. Brady doesn't just want a perfect game or a perfect season. He takes it to the smallest, minute details. He wants the perfect snap, the perfect throw, the right decisions every time. Not just in a game, but in practice, in drills, and probably in his sleep too, mind you. Imagine how intimidating it is facing a guy who's willing to work and work to get even the smallest details perfect. How are you going to beat someone who is working on every aspect of their game and trying to make every tiny detail perfect? How? All these little things that he's perfected gives him a little edge over you for each and every one of those little things. And then when a game comes, especially the big important games, all those little things add up and they add up to a big thing. I don't care how gifted you are, you will lose. It's basic maths. And not just that, he's willing to do this forever, for however long it takes. It seems like he's willing to keep doing this forever. Some players can do that for a season, but not for 21 years and counting. And then now you think about him being with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Look at what he's done with that culture. Look mm -hmm. at what he's done. Like in this, like I said, look at a couple weekends ago when he played the Green Bay Packers. They look dead in the water. They come out, it's 10 0. And then they go mm -hmm. on the real off 38 Low. unanswered points. That's not, I mean, that's, that doesn't happen. You can't right. say that that would have right. happened with Jameis Winston. You did try to take Brady out. No, we, yeah. just, we just tried to win the game. I, we were hitting him so often and so fast from the beginning of that game. We're looking around like, okay, they, some, they're tricking us. Like, they're tricking us. This is not, maybe they're setting us up so they, we can rush so fast and they'll throw a screen over our head or something. But then we realized once he was cursing out the line, this is real. Uh, he's not cursing these guys out for nothing. He's kind of pissed that we're getting to him. That's so. a big advantage for you guys. Oh, yeah. Because now all of a sudden you're starting to see cracks in the armor with the undefeated team. and Yeah, but one thing about him as opposed to a lot of other quarterbacks, because one thing, when it's no better feeling as, as an athlete when you know you're dominating a team or some guy so much that you can look in his eye and you can tell he's like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> and, and Brady never had that look. Some of his guys his did. Line, his did. <laughs> <laughs> but he never had that look. And that's the one thing I respect about him. This guy, he's a competitor, man. And as pretty as he is, as beautiful as his family is, his pretty wife, you know, quarterback did all the pretty women. Um, he is a fierce competitor. And I think we all walked out of that game win as winners, of course, but 
with a lot more respect for him in that in that aspect. I do love the fact that what separates Tom and I understand why people put him as now one of the greatest of all time is because mm-hmm. of the way he wins, the way that he prepares. When, mm-hmm. And you talk about, like I said, some of the no name receivers that have made names for themselves right, in that right. system. As you just alluded to, Ty, he's not going to force the ball. Tom Brady, as the game progresses, he looks right. at matchups. He he right. makes the, he makes the most unt- untimely of plays. Um, especially you can talk about Grunk, Gronkowski. He's right. kind of like he's been his 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 lifeline in a sense. But he realizes that Gronkowski is a nightmare matchup for a number of DBs. Matchup, yeah. mm-hmm. matchup, proud linebacks and things of that nature. And I like the fact of his ball placements. He's very cerebral. He's a very Accurate. smart guy. He's not necessarily a, a, a game manager. All of that. He does that, but it's his it's so effortless that you don't even notice it. I didn't know goats mm. like cold weather. Really? Yeah. You go, you're going goat. I like that. You know what, Skip? I fought it as long as I could, but I can't fight it anymore. Whew. Good for you. Moving forward from this day on, I will never ever say again. Mm. Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom. Brady. Really? You'll Done. never ever say it again? It. Did we get that on tape? That, <laughs> that could, you could, that could you change. Could put, nah, no, no, this is not going to change. Because okay. the thing is, Skip, is that look, there have been other great quarterbacks. There have been other great quarterbacks to have great moments. But I don't believe there's been a quarterback that can call upon his greatness time after time when they need it the most. And when they needed it the most, when he'd have when he needs to be absolutely great, he can do it. Listen, Charles, real quick. So Tom, up, Brady, Tom Brady's on the cover of the new Madden game. Yep. Do you believe in this curse? Do you think it's going to be an issue or what? Curse? The man already got five championships. How you curse a guy with five championships? <laughs> <laughs> so he'll be fine pretty much? Yeah, he's going to be fine. I hear you, buddy. But dude, I enjoy your work, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. An NFL playoff game. I wanted to let you know I'm selling these NFTs on the OpenSea Marketplace under Tom Brady Daily Collection. I'll leave a link in the description and pin it to the comments. If you're bored or maybe curious, please feel free to take a gander. The money will help me get better equipment for making these videos. Cheers! That's it for part 1 of Hall of Famers praising Tom Brady. I'll post part 2 tomorrow, so please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.